Hey guys, welcome back to the Cage Lesson Series. In this video, we're going to uh, play each of the chord shapes and find the main scale shape that exists within each of these chord shapes. Um, and we're also going to point out where the lower root and the higher root are in each of the shapes. These are great things to visualize to help you see the chord and to see the notes within uh, the scale and within that particular position. We're going to do this all in fifth position. So I'll play the chord, we'll point out the root notes, and then um, we'll talk about the scale in a little bit more detail. So we're going to start, of course, with our uh, C shape, right? So here in fifth position, which is an F major chord. So our root is right there on the pinky and then on string five and then on string two uh, with finger two. So that is going to be the low root that we start at and then this is going to be the uh, high root that we end up at. So that gives you kind of the, the boundaries, um, vertically speaking, as far as like where you're going to be moving and you know, using that as well as just the entire chord shape itself like we did in the previous video where we outlined the one chord, right? Um, being able to visualize a few notes within that scale as opposed to just the scale will help you uh, bring all of this information together. So we're starting on finger four here. This is going to be a finger four major scale pattern. So that pattern is going to be finger four on string five. I'm on fret eight there and then jump to string four fret five, string four fret seven, Four fret eight, jump to string three, fret five, string three fret seven, string two fret five, and string uh, two fret six. Now, I think the more helpful way to think about that, because if we're thinking about the fret number specifically, then we're thinking about a particular key, but then we're not even thinking about it with much detail because we're just thinking about it in terms of fret numbers. So I think it'd be more helpful to think about it in terms of scale degrees. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And that's going to apply no matter where you put that, that same shape. So if we shifted this up to an F sharp major chord, then, oops. exact same pattern. Um, now, knowing what note you're starting on and then uh, perhaps learning the whole step, half step, major scale pattern or um, learning your keys is going to help a lot with this. But it might be best just to go and look up, well, what notes are going to be altered in the key of F major. What you'll find is the B is no longer a B, it's a B flat, so it moves alphabetically F, G, A, B flat, C, D, E, F. Okay, now we move on to the A shape, which is going to be a key of D major. Now our uh, low root is here on string right under finger one, string five, fret five, and our high root, string three, fret seven. That's a good root relationship to be aware of. Um, you'll see it in power chords. A lot of people will, a lot of players will use just that uh, octave sound. But anyway, same as the previous scale, it's helping you to locate the other notes around it. So here we're, we're playing that note with finger one, but we're going to jump back with finger two, and it's going to be a finger two major scale. So this is going to go two, four, next string, one, two, four, and then string three, one, three, four. Uh, 
that in the key of D major, which is what we're in here, that'd be the notes that are altered are F sharp and C sharp. So we have D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp, D, C sharp, B, A, G, F sharp, E, D. Uh, then jumping to the G shape, which is going to be key of C major in this position. So I have my third finger right here on C. That's going to be our low root. Um, and our high root is going to be on string 3 fret 5. So this is going to be another finger 4 major scale. The C shape and the G shape are finger 4 major scales. And the, uh, the A, the E, and the D are all going to be finger 2 major scale patterns. They change slightly because uh, we're moving, we're starting in a different position, but it's still the same basic pattern. So this is going to be finger four here on fret eight, and then jump string five, finger one, three, four, jump to string four, one, three, and then we're going to jump out of position here to the fourth fret, and then the fifth fret. We're going to do those both with finger one. You can play that different ways. You can also find that B right here if you decide to do that. So let me play both of those patterns. Um, I'll do the shift out of position this direction first. So four, one, three, four, one, three, one, one. I find that easiest to do just to reach with that index finger because the index is so flexible. And then the other fingering would be four, one, three, four, and then I would probably do one, two, four, one. All right, um, then jumping to the E shape, which is gonna be an A major chord. So here again, just like the, uh, the A shape, our root is under finger one, but we're going to end up shifting finger two over for the for the main scale pattern. So it's going to be a finger two uh, major scale pattern. But here we have the same root relationship. String six fret five and string four fret seven. Same root relationship as the A shape. Same with the E shape here. So we're going to start with finger two, and it's the exact same pattern as what we played for the A shape or the D major scale. So this is two, four, one, two, four, one, three, four, four, three, one, four, two, one, four, two. And as you play these, try to think about, uh, try to visualize the chord shape that you were playing so you're, you know when you're landing on chord tones out of that tonic chord, that's an important connection to make as well. So uh, force on the root there, that's E to fifth, and then we're landing on the root again. So we're kind of visualizing those lowest three notes of that full shape. We'll do the full position in the next video. Um, and then, last but not least, the D shape, which is going to be a uh, G major chord in this position. So, key of G major. Our root relationship changes slightly from the, uh, the A shape and the E shape because of that B string is going to push that note out one fret. So my root note, my low root note is on string four, fret five, and my uh, the root note I'll end up with uh, on the high end of the scale is string two, fret eight. So here we're gonna start it as, we have finger one on the low root for the chord, but we're gonna shift back to finger two. So that's a finger two major scale pattern as well, which will be two, four, one, two, four, and we're going to shift up one fret, one, three, four, because of that B string, everything shifts up by a half step.
So let me do that again. That's going to be two, four, one, two, four, shift up a half step, one, three, four. That's it, guys. I think, you know, learning the full position is going to be helpful for you, but if you can find um, smaller bits and pieces to, to be able to see quickly, um, one, we can learn those things a lot easier, and then two, being able to see the full, um, the full position uh, scale across from string six to string one, the lowest note to the highest possible note we can play in any position, uh, will be easier to follow if you have these things that you can kind of superimpose on top of the neck. So uh, anyways, the next video we will be looking at the full position for each, and we'll kind of take that as a, a three note per string method uh, to make it easier to visualize all of that information. So stay tuned for that. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks a lot.